you have your manuscript, you want to go ahead and format it, this is how you do it. This is my personal manuscript for a book that I wrote not too long ago. Uh, it's called Thinking About Homeschooling. And if you're thinking about homeschooling, this is a book that you want to go ahead and pick up. I'm dropping the link down below. I wrote the manuscript on Microsoft Word. And then afterwards, all I do is copy and paste. Before you begin formatting, you're going to want to have the right trim size for your pages. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use the trim size of 5.25 by 8. We're going to go ahead and click on manuscript with no bleed. This manuscript does not have any images that extend to the edges of the page. So we're going to click on that. The dimensions that I have here is eight by 5.25. That's what we're going to go ahead and put on Canva. We're going to go ahead and create a customizable template. And the dimensions are 5.25 by eight in inches. Create new design. All we're going to do is go to our manuscript and start copying and pasting all the content. The first page is your title page. You're going to want to have your title, subtitle and author name. Then the next page is going to be your copyright page where you're going to have the copyright content. You're going to have your name and the year that you published this book in. Then you're going to want to have a table of contents. Now for this table of contents, you can make it whatever you'd like. You can add some images here, some elements, just like I did here. Then we're going to go ahead and add a blank page. And you might be thinking, why do you want to add a blank page? Because there is an order to your pages. As soon as someone opens your book, this is considered right here. This is considered right. Then that's the right. That's the page on the right. Then this is the page on the left. Then this is a page on the right. Then this is the page on the left. And this is the page on the right. I want the first page, the introduction or the chapters to begin on the right hand side. So you have to say every time you design a page, you need to go and keep that in mind. It's right, left, right, left. So here in the introduction, all I did was I went ahead and went to my manuscript and I copied and pasted my introduction, which was already edited. You want to make sure that everything is edited before you put it on the Canva template. I'm going to go ahead and do this in real time so that you can see what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on text. And what I like to do here, if you notice here, I put thinking about homeschooling. I put the title of the book on the top. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this on most books where this is just a title of the, of the book. And I put it in every other page of the book. So let's go back. Let's say this book is about emotional intelligence. So we're going to go ahead and write emotional intelligence. Perfect. We're going to leave this on the top. We can put it here. We can put the title. Then we're going to go ahead and in reduction, type in introduction. You can put it here and then you're going to go ahead and add the body. So I'm going to go back to my manuscript. I'm going to show you something because I've made many mistakes working with clients and I learned how to do this so that there are no errors in the end. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this right here. I copied it. I'm going to go back to the template and I'm going to go ahead and click on add a little bit of body text. Okay. Here. Now I'm just going to copy paste what I just copied. I'm going to change the size. And then you want to make sure, okay, listen up. You want to make sure, let me increase this. You want to make sure that these words stay within the margins. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and make this smaller. Okay. You're going to know what I'm talking about. Okay, let me push this all the way. Do you see how those purple lines come up? If you want to stay safe, you want to keep the text there inside okay the margins why because i have made it to where the text is a little bit out and i'm already automatically red flagged um and then my clients call me and they're like hey by the way uh you're gonna have to fix this because this is you know uh i received an error from amazon kdp so there i go and i have to go and fix it and i have to pick fix every single page um that i've already formatted so stick to the middle Everything has to be inside those purple lines just to say safe so that everything is good and in order. 
Then for the second paragraph, you can go ahead and add a couple spaces. And then you can add a couple more spaces here, maybe five or six spaces, whatever you name it. So now you can start arranging this so that it looks like an actual book. And there you have it. And all you have to do is continue to copy and paste, copy and paste. And then you can use this page as a template for the next chapters. For instance, you can do this, duplicate it. And then here you can use it as chapter one, right? And then you add all the content for chapter one, then duplicate it and use this as a guide chapter two. So then you start creating those pages over and over again. Now, for the next page, usually, let's say, for example, after the introduction, you have another page, not a problem. Just go ahead and add, add um, another page, and you're going to click again on add a little bit of body text, take it to the top. Okay. Make sure you're under those lines. Let me do that again. Under those lines, make sure that's like the cutoff. Okay. Just to stay safe. Now I'm going to go back to my manuscript, go ahead and copy because I want to paste it onto that section. Quick break. I want to introduce you to my daughter, Nina. Hi. And she has a dream. And her dream has always been to have a solo piece. And this dance season number four, 2024, 2025, she has the opportunity. She's been given the opportunity to be part of three dance pieces and a solo. But we need your help and your support to make her dream happen. Go ahead and click on the link down below so that you can go ahead and support her in her dream so that she can have her solo and be part of those three dance pieces. So thank you so much and... And thank you very much uh, for, for click the down below right now and let's get on to the video. Make sure that this is 12, like the text here on the first page, paste it in here. And then you, all you have to do is start, just make sure you fit it into the margins. Okay. You want to make sure you fit it in and then make sure to go ahead and make sure everything is aligned exactly how you want it to appear with the right paragraphs and so on and so forth. And then you're going to have something that looks like this. And if you want to learn how to upload your manuscript and your book cover onto Amazon KDP step-by-step, step, go ahead and watch this video to the end. God bless.